Imagine a world where every girl can drive. A world where every woman and girl can confidently step into their dreams and just achieve them. My name is Mara Marifa. My name is Adama Morgan. My name is Kadal Tumansari. My name is Alice M. Katem. Am I Satuba by name? My name is Khadija Kowa. I am Tizi Sira Conte. My name is Awana Tukoguma. My name is Abdurrahman Kowa. A world where every girl can, you know, have a voice in the decision-making table and part of the society meaningfully. Isn't that beautiful? Well, this vision is not just a dream, but a fire that burns within me. I have one, two, three reasons to explain how strong women, strong girls empower my life. Like for example, I did not know how to use pad, but strong women, strong girls came into my life. Not, not even me, but my whole community. My fellow sister, they taught us how to use pad. Because some of us, we do not know how to use it. And we don't know how to care ourselves when we are in our menstruation period. But strong women and strong girls bring a pad and open it. The one they showed, they showed us how, how we should use it when we are in our mess period. They do their best and all of us understand. So today I'm using pad because of them. It's not really easy for a girl child like this to be that to bold, outspoken. I joined this journey with mentors, talking to us, encouraging us to be that bold, be ourselves, and maintain our dignity. In 2021, I joined Strong Men Stronger Sierra Leone because I believed in their vision of contributing to social change and creating a sustainable and healthy society for young women and girls. It has been an inspiring journey so far with Strong Women, Strong Girls Sierra Leone. They've impacted my life a whole lot through mentorship, self-awareness, skills development and all. The organization has been a wonderful organization really since this past month. It's helped me to realize that girls have rights and responsibilities and we hope that in the parliament we have 40 or 50 percent because presently we are having 30 percent there. So we are hoping to have 50 percent, 50, 50 percent and I know SWSG can do it and I am grateful because I am outspoken, I am bold, I am well known in the society because of SWSG. Strong women, strong girls don't make love and they don't respect bigger. So I don't be they respect bigger, but strong women, strong girls don't make me love, they respect bigger. Strong women, strong girls don't make me love, and it's a big hit. So I don't be a big hit, but strong women, strong girls don't make me love, it's a big hit. So I don't know if I'm top of public, but strong women, strong girls don't make me have to top of public. And I've said thank you for strong women, strong girls who don't let me get in there. One big, big thing, achievement, is uh, to believe in women empowerment. Because that is one key thing that SOBSG is doing. So in that women empowerment, there is civic education, 
via his menstrual hygiene that is under the sexual reproductive health and uh, via his dis self-discipline, a lot of other things that girl child, girl child needs or a woman needs for you to be a strong woman in the society. So to me, um, I can see that as an achievement personally and then I have used that, my self-confidence and every other thing I learned from the SOBSG to now lead a mentorship program. You know, I just told you that I am the National Mentorship Coordinator. Are you going to believe that? Me, you know, three years back, oh, I don't want to imagine that. Strong Women, Strong Girls, we are here to actually ensure that we build a community of strength around women and girls because um, every woman, every girl has their own inner strength and those strengths can be hidden. And we are here to actually ensure that we, are, we tap into those inner strengths and see that how girls can be able to dream of themselves as successful people in the society. For those of them who want to be uh, uh, entrepreneurs, who want to be business people, who want to achieve um, um, something in their education, they want to be medical doctors, they want to be uh, wives, they want to be politicians. These are the kinds of things we are nurturing these young women and girls so that they can believe in themselves that they can do it, they can achieve their own version of success. The journey has been an incredible one. And I didn't do this alone. Abdul and I, we, We've not been alone. We, I mean, in this journey, it takes um, the collective effort of every individual who believed, who trusted um, the idea, who saw the vision, who decided to invest their time, the resources and days from uh, both of members, uh, board members, the volunteers, the mentors, the mentees the coordinators, everybody who has believed in the dream of Strong Women, Strong Girls. We have achieved this together. We are five years. I mean, five years in this journey. It's so unbelievable how time flies. But, I mean, it's incredible also how much to see how much we've been able to achieve. SOBSG a happy, happy five-year anniversary. And I want to thank all the mentors for their great job, for their guidance, for their protection towards our lives and towards our activities. I want to wish them a happy, happy anniversary. I want to tell Sister Khadija thank you and Auntie Maria to thank you and the others for your five years anniversary. May Allah continue to bless you and may you never give up to empire to, uh, to empower ladies and girls. I wish them long life, more, more girls to come on board, that we may have a great celebration so that we may celebrate with our team, our leaders, and those that are helping us. We're five years stronger. Happy birthday, as the blessed day. Best anniversary wishes. I wish for me to get long life. I wish for make Auntie Kadija get away with a long life with Auntie Maria too. For me to get away with a long life, then may God give them a common for me there. For me to get away after five years. The landing I may wish. I want to wish the team nationally uh, a big, big five. A big, big five with prayers of success. 
Thank you so much to all our partners, to everybody who have supported us in kind and cash, and to all our mentors, to all our mentees, and to all our volunteers who have been on this journey with us. We need to be intentional about building the, a very strong female community in society. We need to be intentional. I keep saying to every woman, every strong woman, it's your responsibility to be able to pull up another woman. When you get there, make sure you become that platform that can pull up another woman because that's how we grow. So it requires every woman, it requires everybody, all hands on deck to be able to like come together and do the needful and supporting uh, women and girls, especially those who have been disadvantaged, especially those who have been on the south, like my mom, wasn't able to fulfill her dreams. Nobody deserves that. So my way of fighting back is to ensure that I do my very best to put in every effort required of me and my team to be able to take strong women, strong girls to every girl in Sierra Leone, to every girl across Africa and the world. And we can do this alone. We're looking forward to partnership. We're looking forward to collaboration and expand the network because it takes a collective effort to be able to build society effectively.